Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here on this Money Making Sunday with my guy Chris Ruffalo as we continue to cook up this WNBA action. Ruffalo, Santa, my man, how you doing today? Thanks for carrying yesterday for me as I was out. Yeah, no, man, no worries. You know, we, we got to keep keep the show rolling on like you, like you always say. And, uh, you know, it was a decent day yesterday. You know, went two and one here on, on, the, on the layup session, so... Hopefully you and I can carry that forward, give everybody some winners. But uh, yeah, like you said, money making Sunday. I'm ready to uh, chop up the WNBA action with you. Yes, sir. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's do exactly that. Let's make some money today. Let's hop right to tonight's or today's WNBA action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first game up. We got the Atlanta Dream at home at the crib. With the Connecticut Sun coming into town. For me in this one, not my favorite game today. Um, I'm going to lean towards the Sun. I'm going to lay the points with them here in this one. Both meetings that they've won this year against the Dream have been in dominant fashion. And I think they win this game today as well. So I know the Dream in certain spots have covered point spreads and things of that nature. I just don't see that being the case here. And I know we've seen them outright Connecticut once this year as well. But think the Sun are just head and shoulders the better basketball team, and I'm expecting them to kind of get stronger as the season progresses. I would lean towards Connecticut and land the points here in this one. Ruflo, how you feeling? Yeah, I, I, you know, I'm with you. I don't love this game, but I will lean towards the Dream plus the points, mainly because I just think that the Sun, you know, at times the season have been, you know, I'm going to steal one of your phrases, overhyped and overvalued. You know, a team that's, you know, t at times tends to win games with their defense, play a little bit slower. They, they actually play at the slowest pace. In the WNBA, and we just saw the Atlanta Dream at home beat the Seattle Storm. They've been a great underdog team as of late. They're seven two and one against the spread in their last ten. And I think that the Olympic break and you know the time off really helped this Atlanta Dream team finally get healthy and you know get bodies back to try to you know make a playoff push. So for me, I think seven and a half. I, I see where you're where you're coming from. That you know the the double digit wins for the Sun this season, but getting Ryan Howard back was key for the Dream for this uh this last meeting. So. I'm going to go with the Atlanta Dream here, plus the seven and a half. Next game up, we got the Indiana Fever at home at the crib with the Seattle Storm rolling in the town. Ruffalo, you're up. What would you like here in this one? Yeah, I went back and forth on this one because, you know, the Storm have been so kind to us this season. But a lot of the times they were kind to us was when they were at home. And now they're on the road. You know, we just talked about the Atlanta Dream. Seattle stumbled in that matchup. They lost outright as a decent-sized favorite. And, um, you know, now the Indiana Fever welcomed them to town. And the Fever is starting to play a little bit of a chip on their shoulders, starting to play with some confidence offensively. We're seeing Caitlin Clark really come into her own as a pro. She had a couple of sort of rough starts early on. But now, you know, she's starting to pick it up. And I like what I'm seeing. And I think that this could be a really good spot for the Fever for a nice confidence-building win at home. Um, so I'm, I'm going to roll with the, uh, I'm going to roll with the fever here. I'm going to take the, uh, the fever and the three and a half points. I think they've got a great shot to win it outright. Hey, I'm taking the fever straight up on the money line. It has to be done. I didn't like what I saw from the storm out on the road that, like you said, that first game back against the dream. Um, what do we know about the Seattle storm? They go stupid, dummy, crazy at home at the crib on the road. I don't necessarily trust them. And I think the the fever are extra motivated. We saw Caitlin come out first game balling. Will she have 30 and a double double? Like she's just on another level. And let I remind you, this is a triple revenge spot at home at the crib for the fever. I love them triple revenge spots at home. Uh, I have to take the fever here. I think they're going to be much improved here on the second half of the season. You gave Caitlin Clark the Olympic break, the All Star break to do nothing but chill, study film, and get better. I think we're going to see exactly that this second half of the season. Give me the fever. I'm going to take them straight up on the money line here, Ruth. All right, next game up. We got the Las Vegas Aces at home at the crib with the Los Angeles Sparks coming into town. Look, we just saw the um, Sparks get taken by in the woodshed the other night, man. I'm talking about, whoo, they were down, what, 40? <laughs> At one point in that game, or pretty close to it. 
The thing is, man, I still believe that tonight they're the right play plus the 16 and a half, man. I can't lay this many points with the aces on the back end of a back-to-back. I just can't do it. They lost last night to the Liberty. Um, and although they have been good in back-to-back situations, laying 16 and a half is just not a spot I want to be in. So I'm going to take the Sparks here plus the points in all honesty. We've seen the Sparks beat the Aces twice already this season. Um, they lead the season series 2-1. to one. This is their last and final meeting this year. I ain't going to lie, man. I know a lot of y'all love parlays and things of that nature. My parlay for today, I think it's worth a shot just to sprinkle a couple of dollars on the Los Angeles Sparks outright on the money line. You're getting like plus 920, bro. Plus 920, one game. We've already seen them do it twice this season. I definitely think it's worth the shot, worth the opportunity. Give me the Sparks plus the points and a small shot outright on the money line. Roof low, what you think here? Yeah, I kind of sold myself out. I accidentally clicked the wrong button. But I, I'm going to take the uh, the aces here. I'm going to lay the big number. Um, you know, I, I see completely where Jay's coming from with the, you know, the, the over, you know, over buy on the aces, maybe being laying too many points. But for me, I was on the sparks in that last game. I got absolutely burned. And I just think that, you know, you're facing, you know, a uh, an Aces team that, that's a, that's going to come out a little bit frustrated that they fell short against the Liberty on a primetime stage in what looks to be a finals, probably a finals matchup. And, you know, we just saw the Sparks get housed by the Liberty. You know, I have the Aces and the Liberty sort of on the same plane, on the same tier. And for me, I just I just think that the Aces come out firing here. Um, I get it. We've, come, we've seen them come out flat and come out a little bit... Uh, Lackadaisical in some spots. I don't think this is one of those spots for for the Aces. I think they come out uh, and lay the wood to the uh, to the Sparks here. So give me the Aces in this one, laying the big number. And in our last and final game of the night, we've got the Phoenix Mercury at home at the crib with the Chicago Sky coming in. Ruffalo, what you like here? Yeah, I another one that I'm not the biggest fan of, um, but I am going to lean towards the Mercury here, laying the seven and a half. Um, I just think the Mercury getting back home, good spot for them to be in. They have, I think, found a new rivalry with the Indiana Fever, and the fact that they, they couldn't get it done in that game, I think they're going to want to bounce back. And being at home against the Chicago Sky team that has been wildly inconsistent in, in some spots, I'm still trying to find a status on Kennedy Carter because she popped up on the injury report again. And I, I'm not saying that she's the be-all, end-all of this team. I know they still have Angel Reese and Camila Cardozo, but, you know, Kennedy Carter is a big, you know, name to have in this lineup when she's averaging 17 points a game. So, for me, that question mark for the Sky, if she doesn't play, it's too much for me to overlook here. I, I got to lay the points with the Mercury, I think, in this one. But, again, like you said, I, like you said a couple times already, not my favorite game on the board. For shoddy, for shoddy, for show, Yeah. Of all four games, probably my least favorite tonight. Um, I know we just saw the Mercury throttle the um, the Sky the other day. I had the Mercury in that game. I'm going to flip-flop and lean towards the Sky. And it's just a lean at best is all it is. Um, and it's really just a, a, a gut-feeling lean. Like, no number really led me to switching to the Sky here. It's just a gut-feeling. And y'all know me, I always call a spade a spade. So... Small lean on the sky, personally not betting it. Least favorite game on the car. I like the other three much better. And that's going to conclude this episode of the WNBA Layup Session. As always, we appreciate each and every one of you that continue to tune in and watch this video. Money Making Sunday, man. I got premium plays over at the site you, ladies and gentlemen, can scoop up. Um, but y'all know what time it is with everything right around the corner, right on the horizon. Hop on a long-term pass. That way you don't miss out on anything that I'm offering as we continue to try to kick the crap out of the books. Ruflo, what you got going on? Yeah, like you said, it's a great time to jump on long-term. The last week without any collegiate sports, football or basketball, until April. So this is a great time to jump on a long-term pass. NFL is going to be starting up soon. We've got the last week of preseason next week. And uh, yeah, like I said, today, still, we're not gonna we're not going to slow down. Baseball on the card. No WNBA for me today. Didn't love the card enough not to uh, to throw out a WNBA premium, but you know, I uh, still have plenty of plays on the board to make some money with today over at Pick Dogs Premium. There you go. So we'll see y'all tomorrow, money making Sunday. Appreciate each and every one of y'all, man. We out of here.